Hi right, folks, thought I'd put a quick uh, painting bench uh, update and what I've been up to uh, well, recently. Uh, carrying on with the uh, Austrian Napoleonic theme, I uh, finished another base of uh, Austrian infantry. And the majority of the rank and file are plastic perries. Uh, the odd front rank, um, the uh, officer I think is a uh, Vitrix as well. So. Uh, Come out quite nicely. Um, I've got another another two more to do to uh, complete what I require for my uh, mainstay of the Austrian army. Um, also done an artillery base as well. Uh, the crew and cannon are a Perry miniatures set. The uh, wattle and fence and the uh, Gideon is I think a render. I bought them a while ago now, so I must admit, can't quite remember. Um, yeah, really enjoyed these ones, actually, I must admit. Quite fun to do artillery. Um, as you know, I like to do big bases. Uh, I like to put a little bit of a diorama to each one as well. So uh, with the artillery, you can uh, stretch the imagination just that little bit further. So, um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for the painting desk so far. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't make it to uh, the Cavalier Wargaming show. It's the one I really like to go to, but uh, unfortunately work got in the way. So I uh, thought I'd treat myself to some uh, lovely Perry shininess <laughs> instead. Um, so what I've done is I've got... Uh, these are Grens Infantry. Uh, some really nice sculpts, I must admit, Perry's stuff is really nice. A little bit of cleaning up to do, um, as you have to do pretty much with everyone else. Uh, the odd worm casting line here and there, but the uh, vast majority of them are pretty good. Uh, these guys are, I think I've got six in uh, marching pose and six in uh, skirmishing pose and a further six in... Uh, I believe command pose as well so um, I've got enough to do one of my large bases of grins and uh, what I was thinking of doing is I've uh, had the odd request actually uh, from time to time about people of how do you do your uh, large bases so uh, what I was thinking of doing is I'll actually use these guys as an example and I'll um, do some uh, painting benching updates and I'll uh, include the progress on the uh, basically from beginning to end concept of how I'm going to have them mounted, painting them, basing them, and then doing the basing at the end. So uh, hopefully that will interest uh, some people. So uh, a few in here. I've had a bit of a sort out because uh, I don't want to bother showing them all because uh, I'm sure people will get bored. <laughs> but um, oh, these, are, um, these are really nice, actually. These are Jaegers. Uh, I've got enough to do two of my big bases of Jaegers, six to a base, uh, denoting their skirmishes. Uh, really nice, I must admit. I like the I like Perry's. They are very nice. Um, average price, everyone else, but uh, they're just that I don't know, just that little bit better. I like the sculpts. I like the animation to them. Um, again, Jaegers. Really nice. That's uh, another uh, another artillery base. This is the uh, worst. A little seat on the back of their cannon. The guy is riding on the back. That's got to be uncomfortable. <laughs> Bounced around on that as they're hammering around the uh, nice country lanes. And uh, moving on to the, uh, on to the uh, cavalry. Uh, I've got an upper base of. Um, Hazars, there's a Dolmas, Polices, never know really, <laughs> never 100% sure. Uh, oh, that's the wagon. Um, I've got this because uh, I'm going to use my big bases uh, for uh, DBN as well. Yeah, I know they're big bases and I know usually they're tiny bases, but hey, -oh, it's uh, it looks spectacular on the battlefield. So um, obviously in uh, DBN you need a... Um, a camp base and uh, so I thought yep 
I'll get a nice uh, a nice uh, limber. Really impressive on casting the limber riders. Brilliant. So I thought I'd. Uh, that's for the base of the uh, camp base for the boat for the uh, DVN. These are the uh, main commanders. Again, lovely sculpts. One piece. Really, really nice. This is the high command. Three of, although I'll use one for a brigade commander. And I'll mount two on the larger base for the main main command. Oh, I've also got uh, enough uh, for a base of uh, Ulans as well. Uh, loads of pictures. Austrian, Austrian infantry are really drab, but their cavalry are just stunning. <laughs> Absolutely stunning. Um, so... I've got uh, enough in there for uh, two of my big bases of Ulans, and I've also got a, uh, a set of Karas as well, so uh, to represent the uh, Austrian heavies. And uh, those are the rest of the Hazars. Those are the. Uh, this is the caress. This is the one I wanted to show you. I mean, this is prime example of um, Perry's. I just love the animation of Perry's figures. Uh, this is the uh, caress commander. I mean, just wonderful. Just wonderful. Love it. It's uh, always like. Uh, I've always liked the Perry's. And. Uh, and last but not least, we have the other Rulands. So yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of metal work. Uh, my bank wasn't too happy. Neither was the wife. <laughs> but never mind. Hey ho. Um, yeah, that's about it for uh, this little update. As I say, I'll uh, bring you some uh, more painted figures, hopefully, and I'll uh, also include the progress on uh, one of my big bases as I say I'll do the greens for that um, as always thanks for watching um, and uh, I'll hope to get back to you soon bye for now